Right, there we go. Have to excuse that, I've got the um, marine radio monitoring the old band there. Anyway, this is what we've got here on old television. Now, I'm experimenting, I've got a little light here. The lighting in this room isn't the best, so we may have a bit of focus issues. Um, we'll have a look just how it goes. Anyway, I've got this nice little television here. It's a Bush uh, UHF TV, and it's also got a radio built in. This is what it's got on the top of it. Um, UHF TV, long wave, medium wave, VHF radio, or quartz. I never do pronounce that right, quartz, quartz. Anyway, timer alarm. And uh, yeah, so what we've got, it's a bit dusty, um, because this has sat around for a long time in my loft, in my, in my bungalow, in my loft. And uh, it obviously gathered a lot of dust, so I bring it down in order to give it a bit of a clean up. Um, and just, you know, just sort of see how that goes. What's the lighting like? Is that is that fit better? Or is, no, that's not good enough, is it? That's a little bit strange. Look at that. Uh, what if I turn it off altogether? Oh, blimey, that's a bit better, isn't it? Oh, I think we'll go with that. I think that lighting's a bit better now. Anyway, hopefully it's not too dark or not too light. I was trying to, the reflection was the annoying part. So I've obviously got the old television here now, and this is analog. It, uh, it's a real glass screen, and it's obviously an analog television. Um, so it doesn't really work nowadays. Uh, there's no analog signals out there, not in England anyway. I believe there is in all sort of the other countries, the ones that sort of, I don't know, as well developed or whatever, I don't know. Um, I'd rather have analog television, but there you go. So, it doesn't work here. What I might do in the future is try and put a big aerial up, a big massive like, bit of wire or something, I don't know, see if I can want to pick up. You never know, do you? Um, but it's got the UHF uh, frequencies here. You can tune there for your for your television. Um, if the focus starts going in and out, I think I'll just lock it off. That's good enough focus there now, isn't it, eh? So let's put that on. Manual focus. To me, on this little screen, that looks perfect. So hopefully it is. So that's where you tune for your television. Um, TV tuning, it's got written there. Um, little switch here where you can switch from radio to TV you've got your volume control does the volume for well, just the speaker so it works for television and radio power on and off oh by the way you must excuse my I don't know whether you can see it now I've um, put it on manual focus I've got a unicorn plaster there because uh, my daughter noticed I've got a little cut on my thumb so uh, she decided to give me some medical attention and I've now got a unicorn plaster unicorn style um, first aid anyway Here's the timer. It's got an alarm on it, so you can have it on your bed, if you, on, your, on your bedside table, if you want. And um, you know, you can have it to cut, set it to come on and and wake you up, and then you can watch a bit of TV or something. You know, if it's back in the 80s and 90s when you had analog television signals. Um, so it's got a clock, and uh, which is correct, 12:44 at the moment. Just gone past lunchtime. Oh, a bit peckish I am. Might have a bit of lunch. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, yeah, there's your alarm, time set, hours, minutes, sleep, reset, and clock light. That doesn't appear to work. Um, whether that works when it's plugged into the mains, we'll have a look in a minute. I can't remember if I've ever had that working or not. Um, and on the side here, we have a little switch to go from VHF to medium wave to long wave on your radio. Um, you've got time at normal, normal. And then you put it on timer and then you can put it on alarm you've got an earphone socket down there as well and here you've got um, for an external aerial an external antenna where it says I don't know whether you can read that because of this focus thing I've had to put it on manual um, you can switch that from rod uh, which is this thing here which is your uh, which is your aerial there or you can put it on X um, which means external, then you plug the aerial into there and then you put it wherever you want to put it and, that, and that'll also work for radio as well as television round on the back here we've got a little compartment where you can put your batteries you can put four D cell batteries in there and you've also got your AA battery for your, for your clock that, that AA battery only does your clock then you've got your AC lead where you can put your AC. Uh, you can also 
power it with a 12 volt DC supply if you've got that instead so you can put it onto a power supply or a car battery if you've got the wire with a little connector on the end you've got um, H hold TV control V hold contrast and brightness so that's just how you adjust your brightness and your contrast and all that kind of stuff on your television screen around on this side what's that say? TV radio I'm not really sure what that does. I've never played with that before. I'm going to have to play with that in a minute. Anyway, this is a switch that says TV and radio, but that's here. So I don't know. We'll play with that in a minute. <laughs> I'm learning something new with you lot. Anyway, yeah. Oh, and on the top, um, on the top here, we've got what I read out before. This is a speaker here, a bit dusty. Um, and your um, high sensitivity three band receiver. And you tune that with this little knob, which kind of goes around there. and little red light there, I guess that comes on when it's uh, got a good signal. So, I haven't got any batteries for it, well I have, but they're in the other radio, the one I showed last week. So, I've got a nice power lead here, privately in the back. Like that. Uh, the plug's a bit far away, so it might not, might not be able to do the best with it, but we'll try. That's as far as I can get it to go. Uh, it's still in your view though, isn't it? Yeah. Still in the view, lovely, bit bit low down, but I'm sure you get the idea. There we go. Right, so we're on. Now let's turn what oh, we got it on radio. Let's put it on television first. Power on. And we should. Did used to work. Let's try radio. Well, it did work at one point. Ah. Alright, worked out. Got a dodgy switch. There we go. Now we're on. Wonder what was going on then. We've got a dodgy switch. That switch that switches it from um, the timer to normal is a little bit little bit dodgy, money a bit of switch cleaner on that. Anyway, so now we can tune around on the old uh, UHF television frequencies, just put the aerial up. I'm not expect. I know I won't find anything, there won't be any, unless it's a pirate station, pirate television station, but there won't be any television stations here in England, there just won't be any. I tell you what, I would have loved, I mean I'm not old enough to have been alive when this was, you know, in operation. Well, I say operation, I mean I was alive in the 90s when they had analog television, but, you know, um, I was quite young. So, I'd love to be able to actually find a signal with this. This must be must have been brilliant, you know what I mean? Like, you just come, yeah, I'll just, oh, there it is, kind of getting there. Lovely, The Simpsons, or something like that, do you know what I mean? It must have been brilliant. Um, just to mess around with it like that. Fantastic. Anyway, so that's the television side of things. Uh, not particularly exciting because we can't pick anything up. So let's go to radio and see what we can actually find on the radio. So now we're on we're on VHF now, very high frequency. So got to be careful what I play again. So. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, don't want to play that. <laughs> I 
Now, he's off on one of his many holidays from this. Now you see, v oh, VHF is a lot of the. Well, it's, it's basically all the, for all the channels and frequencies you can get nowadays. You know, like on FM, like Radio One and all that. You can get all them on here. That's why we've got so much. Um, if we go to uh, medium wave, then we it might not pick up very much. Um, but as we found out on the other receiver that I showed, um, well, actually it was today it went up, but you'll be seeing this a week after. Um, you can pick quite a lot up on medium wave. Listen to that. Prepare some Claudia Ren. Who's that? I mean, stuck back in a in a time a time capsule. Who is the top five? Maybe CS six nine minutes to one. Handmade. Yes. Right, have a quick look at long wave. Oh, not all the way out there on long wave. Bit of French. Bit of France coming in there. And their solution is digital. I can now see the option. Well, there we go. There's not really too much to show on this one. I've showed you everything. Um, it's only got, you know, like I said, VHF is boring these days. You can pick that, you can pick those up on anything. Um, but medium and long wave, they're quite, they're the exciting ones for me because you can pick up stations that are a bit further out. I mean, there's a lot of local stations that still operate on that band, with, uh, you know, on that, on, that, on that band, but. It's, it's it's more exciting because you can pick up sort of different things. But this is this is the attraction on this is the television. This is a television. That's the thing. It just happens to have a radio built into it. Um, I really wish that I could pick up a signal with it. And what I may try and do is try and find a way to sort of broadcast my own little my own little you know my own little sort of picture. Um, I dare say there must be a. I know there's a way of doing it, I know how to do it, but it's quite long-winded. Um, you can sort of broadcast, it won't go very far, you use like a milliwatt of power, and one pick it up down the end of the street, you won't even get out, probably won't even get out of my property boundaries. But I'll be able to put it next to this telly, and I'll be able to pick it up, and I'll be able to actually have a picture here. That'd be fantastic. But what I may do in the future, because I am looking for what I do want is an actual real size television um, you know the, one of the old valve ones in like a wooden case or whatever with a knob um, that's what I am looking for because that's just what I want. I want I want one where I can sort of I'm not quite sure what sort of ages I don't want one that's I want one that's old as possible but I want it to be able to have a few plugs in the back so that I can try and plug in a freeview box or something like that then I can use the television itself but I can still get the modern so I can actually use it that's what I'm trying to do um, but you know I might get one of those but at the moment this is the only uh, only analog TV that I currently own at the moment I had one a while back but I sold it um, it wasn't old enough for me it was from the 90s and I wanted one a bit older so I know this is from the 80s at some point I think it's 84 1984 or somewhere around there when I looked it up because I've had this quite a while now, two or three years I've had this one. And it's been set up in a loft there. 
So what I may do is, like I said, I might make a massive wire or something and go and hang it over the bloody chimney pot or something like that, or hang it over a lamp post. And then connect it to this and see if I can pick up anything, any stations, because you never know. There is countries that still have analog TV, but they're quite far out there. They're like in the Middle East or somewhere like that, you know. And uh, I can't really see them being able to get this far out, even if I had an aerial that was bloody 30 foot up or, you know, 100 foot up or whatever, even if I had an even if I had a mast the, 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 the size of a telegraph pole, not a telegraph pole, a, um, a natural pylon, even if I had an aerial on top of one of them, I probably still wouldn't be able to pick up the television signals from those countries, but you never know, do you? That's, that's the joy of radio and that's the joy of trying to find signals. You never know what you're going to find. You tune around and you can find anything. So yeah, there we go. There's the old Bush television. I don't know what model it is, to tell you the truth. Let's put this down, see if I can get a model for it. Get a model of it. Um, that's one thing I didn't look up. Just a model. Let's turn that on. Get rid of that. Unplug that. Oh, I also forgot to show you. I nearly forgot. Lucky, actually, I nearly forgot. It says it on here. That's alright, that's handy. The model is on here. Model BN6520 is what it is. Um, and this is the instruction manual, the original instruction manual that I got when I went and bought it. And you know what? When I went to buy this, I was, I, I was chuckling inside me. When I went to go and buy this, uh, it was from a millionaire. I went, I went, went and picked it up and uh, it, massive house it was, absolutely massive and uh, you know I sort of turned up, me being me, turned up um, wearing a hoodie and all that and I don't know whether the bloke, he, he didn't want to answer the door he's looking out the window and I was like hello Woo! and he looked out the window through his curtain neck curtains and I'm standing at the door and he's just looking at me and I'm like, yeah, I need to pick up your telly, you know. And he goes, all right. <laughs> and he answers the door and pokes his head round the corner. Big millionaire, it was a big, massive house. Anyway, very nice house. So this is what we've got. Uh, frames a bit. There we go. Um, just kind of shows you what everything does. A bit of right in front view illustrations and things for your own safety. Um, Warning, this application must be protected by 5 amp fuse, either in the plug or at the domestic fuse board. Yeah. So it tells you how to wire your plug and everything. You've got a few pages here, batteries, general layout, general layout, front and back views, uh, operating the television, operating the radio, operating the timer, operating the clock. So this is the original instruction book that would have come with it when it was new and I folded it up around the wrong way there we go so it's got that with it as well so that's absolutely fantastic so I hope that you enjoyed this video it was a little bit sort of unplanned because to tell you the truth I want to get this cleaned up put in a box so it doesn't get dusty again and sealed up in a, in a, bo in a box seal it up so it can't get moisture or nothing and put it back up in the loft because I've got no room for it down here um, but I just wanted to give it a clean before I, before I store it properly because when it was stored in the loft it was literally just plonked in the loft as is which is why it was dusty but I'm trying to keep things you know sealed up now um, some of you may be you know, maybe watching my other videos and you really and you know what I'm trying to do I'm trying to sort stuff out get rid of clutter and just organize the stuff that I've got and get rid of the stuff that's no good to me so that's the plan anyway. Is that still in focus? I don't think it is just about. <clears throat> so yes, yeah, so I just wanted to get this done, so I thought, right, let's make a video now before I clean it up. So I'm gonna clean it up now, just after I've finished filming this. Anyway, this has gone on for nearly 20 minutes now, this video. A lot longer than the other ones. So I hope you enjoyed it. Every Sunday there's gonna be a communications related video. The old series was vintage cameras, Polaroids and things like that. This new series is going to be started off a CB radio, and then it's going to be ham. It's going to be televisions. I've only got one, so this is going to be the end of that anyway. Um, and it's going to be any anything radio related, whether it's receivings, just receivers, 
or transceivers. Um, it's going to be both CB, ham, and just ordinary scanners, receivers, and things like that. Any ones that I've got, as long as it's old, it's got to be vintage. If it's new, you ain't going to see it unless you request it. If you want to see something new, just ask me. And if, if I've got one, which I probably haven't because I haven't got any new equipment, but if I have, um, or if I can get hold of one, if I can borrow one from a friend or somebody, I haven't got any friends, but if I can find someone to borrow one off of, then I'll get one and I'll make the video for you. Um, but other than that, it's just going to be a random selection of my old vintage um, communications equipment and receiving equipment every Sunday at 3 a.m. So if you like it, subscribe and uh, hope to see you in the next one. Take care, thank you very much.